Hello everybody, this is Ron with Sandcar Services. Most of you know me by now. I try to give out as much helpful information as I can. Uh, yes, I talk fast, mainly it's because I use that. Um, caffeine is definitely speed for me. So, um, with that being said, for those of you that are going to be buying the tooling and trying to work on your own transmissions, I'll try to do some helpful, some helpful hints. Um, I had asked the question about what it'd be worth for me to do a step-by-step -step video. It's, it's an awful lot of time and a lot of editing. I chose not to do it. Um, it's just, there's not going to be enough people. It's not going to be worth for me to shut down my business to be able to do such a, an in-depth. There's too many different variations. However, what I can do is I can go through steps like this and show you guys tech tips. Um, so this 2D that came in last week, came in because the customer changed his oil and he found metal chunks on his magnet okay and that's something you don't want to see but if you pull your drain plug out of your 2d and you see metal on there that's not a good sign um, so the customer is running a 486 ring and pinion and he has uh, a 311 208 or had a 311 208 main shaft but he has the older style main shaft before the current era and this is what I kind of want to warn everybody about so there's a couple of different main shafts throughout the years and uh, the primary one that you're gonna see if you buy a brand new main shaft like we just did uh, the customer I recommended to him knowing what vehicle he has that he should stay with the 311 first gear but that I thought he should really uh, switch from a 208 to a 193 on a second gear to give himself a little bit more speed in second and uh, not spin so much RPM. So since he had to replace the main shaft and the idler gear for second anyway, now's the time to do the gear change because it doesn't cost anything. It labors still the labor. Um, but if you look at this main shaft, and this is the tech tip that I want to show everybody, if you look at this main shaft, you'll notice that it's a lot narrower than this old one. I know it's kind of hard to see in the video, but this bearing race for fourth gear is built onto the main shaft. It's a, that's actually what you're looking at right here. And so when you go to pull the old main shaft out, to be able to get the 3-4 slider off, you will have to remove this clip, the sir clip, that's in this groove right here. And then once that's out, you can pull this off. Now, if you're working on the newer style main shafts and you go to disassemble it, you will have to put some sort of a clamp. I use a, uh, a snap-on gear puller that, that fits nicely between second and third gear that doesn't damage anything. And you have to put it in a press and literally press this down because what you're doing is, is you're pressing the sleeve off. The other way to do it is, is to heat the sleeve really hot until it falls off, but it's usually cooked by the time it gets to that point. Um, so the part number on the fourth gear race is 4010, and the part number on the fourth gear race uh, spacer is 9010. And if you're gonna switch, if you have this main shaft and you're gonna switch to the newer updated one, you're gonna need to order these two parts with the main shaft or they will not work. Um, if you try to put, like if you look at this here, if this will make sense to you, this is the fourth gear bearing. See how tight that is? If you didn't have that race and you tried to put it on the new one, you're gonna end up with that. And that's just gonna make you have to wait and order more parts. Shipping's expensive right now um, across the board, so. So with that, I wanna, I wanna kinda touch on the fact that the gentleman that's making the tools made a comment on his video, and he was referring to Weddle's uh, breakdown charts, um, which I have one for each one of the trannies that I, that I build. So I have one for S4, I have one for S5, I have one for the 2D. The 2D and the E-Box pretty much are the same breakdown but uh, for the most part, but here's the thing. Those charts that you're going to get from Weddell's website, as great as they are, all right, you can, you can download them right out of uh, Weddell's website. And I printed mine and then laminated them so I don't get fingerprints all over them. 
but they are only for the latest generation transmission, which means it's going to, all the parts breakdown is going to be based on a deco case transmission because that's all they sell now. It'll be whatever the generation is, you know, like with a, an S4 that I just built, you know, we call that a Gen 3. I don't think they've hit Gen 4 yet. Um, but with that being said, all those parts break down, if it makes sense, are going to be based off of the latest generation. So if you have any of the early shafts like this one here, um, you're, you're going to have difficulty ordering parts for it. And the best thing to do is call up and talk to Sean, talk to Dustin, talk to Ron up at Weddle. And, uh, and you know, like way back in the day when I first started, um, Actually, my 2D had this same shaft in it when I stripped second gear for my first time. And uh, back then, there was another gentleman working named Will, and he helped me buy a uh, the newer shaft for my 2D. And he walked me through everything I needed to buy. And uh, even with that being said, there was a couple bearings that I had to reorder um, because I got them wrong. So... Just want to give everybody a heads up. There is one other secret that I will tell you. The 3 4 slider is directional. It does not go on either way. This is a later 3 4 slider, and you can tell because right here, you can see where the splines have a gap from the end. Okay, if you have that, that gap goes towards second and third gear always. It always goes down. If you don't have that gap, when you have the outer ring off, on the outside of these teeth, there is a scribed mark on top of each one of the teeth on only one side. And that also uh, denotes everything going down. So um, these are directional. You need to make sure you get them in the right direction. Uh, and, then, uh, and then happy building. But this is uh, tech tip of the day. And then I'm going to be doing some, you know, on a, on a fun note. Well, I'm not going to be able to because I'm up on the seven-minute mark, so we'll do that on a later date. But reverse is going to get changed out to a fine spline. All right. Thanks. This is Ron, Sandcar Services. I really appreciate everybody's support. Good luck to you out there.